I've got another amazing JSON formatting example, and this is going to spoil your users rotten. I promise you. This is going to be adding custom buttons to a view for list items. It's going to allow users to quickly do common things like editing items, deleting items without using the command bar. It'll be right there in line with these list items. This is really cool. I've seen it working with PMP Modern Search, but I haven't ever seen this with a regular list item just out of the box SharePoint with JSON. So let's jump into this. Now this solution is going to be using column formatting. So it's still JSON, but it's applied at the column level. I'm using the generic row action solution in the PNP library. If you haven't seen this GitHub repository, there's a lot of stuff in here, including an entire repository with nothing but JSON formatting solutions. So they're great for starting out and building something without having to start from scratch. If you scroll down, you'll see more about what this thing does and what it will look like. Notice that it'll also do flow actions. So you can, with one click, start a flow for a particular list item. All you would need is the ID from the flow. Very powerful stuff and something that can really increase the productivity of your end users. Going back up to the top, we're going to see several different JSON files. Each one of these will correspond to an action for a particular column. So I'm going to create several different columns and we'll start copying this JSON in here and see how it all works. I'm starting with my policies and procedures library that you've seen in some other examples, just because I've already got a lot of data here. So I'll create a new single line of text field. And then we'll go into column settings and format this column. Advanced mode, of course. We'll delete everything that's in here and we'll paste in our new format. For that, we're going to go into the editprops.json file. Up in the upper right corner, we're going to click on copy raw file. Then we're going to go back and paste it in. Hit save, close this window, and then there's our quick edit. We can click on this and the pane comes right out. Very, very slick. So let's add in the delete as well. Back into advanced mode, delete everything, and paste it. So this is looking very nice. We've got a quick delete here. It does give us a nice confirmation for people like me who will accidentally delete things. But that's why we have the recycle bin. In fact, for me, they've got two recycle bins. And if we look at the JSON for the delete action, for example, it's actually really, really simple. It's using a button element type. There's a custom row action set to delete, and that's pretty much it. The rest is just kind of fluff, I would say. So even though this is formatting, we are actually triggering actions with these. So this is one more example to show you how much power there is in these JSON formatting strings and why you should get more familiar with them. Now, I'm not going to go through all of the different examples, but you see how all this works. One thing I would do is you want to decide, do you want all these quick icons to the left or to the right of all these? In this case, I've got so many columns that are on here. I really wouldn't want them on the far right because someone's going to have to scroll. And by the time they get over here, they're not going to even see which item it is because that title column is all the way on the left. What I would do in this case is probably put them right here. It does push the other items towards the right off the screen, but I think that's okay. If there were fewer columns here, maybe there were only four and it stopped at document owner, then I would absolutely move the quick edit, quick delete out here on the far right so that they're out of the way and the data is more front and center versus those quick actions. So pretty cool, right? Let me know down in the comments below what you think of this. I think it's neat. I'm going to be trying this out more often and let me know if you are as well. I'll see you next time. And don't forget, if you like what you're seeing, then please subscribe to the channel for more content like this.